guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today we have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Me and my man Alex here. We went to the Dollar, well, okay, I went to the Dollar Tree. And I picked up some stuff for some projects I've got coming up, and I thought I would share with you. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing I got, and hopefully I'll get to use these soon, are some inflatable numbers. Um, these are neat. My Dollar Tree... I have two, three, three that I frequent regularly and then a fourth, fifth that I go to on occasion. Only one carries the numbers. This one of my Dollar Trees only ever has the number eight. It's very random, but this one I went to had the num letter or numbers. And these are, excuse me, 14 inch and you just, no helium, you just blow them up. They come with a straw, but they're fun. So I grabbed three of those. For an upcoming hopeful celebration, my baby, I found the stationery packets, and this one says, uh, no problema, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with llamas, and these come with two cards, four pieces of paper, and six envelopes. I use thank you notes a lot, I think I've said before, so I grab those, and they come in a nice little container. I hauled before the lemon napkins, and I found the plates. Now, there's only 12 in here, but these are just fun for summer. And I'm doing my kitchen in Buffalo Check and Lemon, so I needed some lemons. And I like that they're half size. They're perfect for me. So I grabbed those for my kitchen. Also for my kitchen, I got one of these um, Quick Whisks. The Quick Whisk Mini. It says it mixes eggs, dressing cakes, gravies, pancakes, creams, whipped cream, powdered drinks, smoothies, hot chocolate. I'm not sure I'm putting this in hot chocolate. Um, I don't know if I can get it open either. Let's see. I bought two and I sent home one with Sarah. Now I have a frother, um, but I feel like this is going to be better for eggs. So what you'll do, and I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but you put it on a surface and there's a pokey thingy at the bottom that sticks up. And you do this, and it whips. So it's like a manual egg beater, but isn't that fun? So I grab, or a crown. It's appropriate. Um, so I got one of these. I think it'll be fun to whip eggs. I eat a lot of, like, scrambled eggs and stuff. So, yeah. I grabbed one of those for a dollar. Fun. And like I said, I got my Sarah one. I grabbed some flowers fake flowers for a small project. Um, we'll see if they get used. I don't love the Dollar Tree flowers, but I buy them all the time, so I figured that out. Um, oh, before I go on, I checked my P.O. box, and I got two letters that I wanted to thank. Fun one from Sandra. She sent me a beautiful Valentine's card. It's so cute. I just got it. So it must have been lost at my post office, but thank you, Sandra, so much for the lovely card. And then Darlene sent me a get well card, and I appreciate them. Look at the kitty and the teddy bear. So cute. I won't read the cards because they're for me, but um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love getting mail. I love sending cards. Um, so thank you very much for the cards. I appreciate that immensely. It made my day. Okay, back to the haul. Sorry. Um, I went and grabbed one more of these liquid skins. Let me tell you, they really work. Um, my finger had split. I was doing a lot of cleaning in my kitchen, and I put some of this on it, and it stopped it from hurting, and it kept it closed until it healed. So I grabbed one more, and I have three of these, and that should get me through. I mean, obviously, I can buy more at the store, but yeah, these work. If you're thinking about it, they're great, especially for, like, cracked fingers and hands in the wintertime or apparently in the springtime. So I grabbed one more of those for my first aid kit. Hi, buddy. Um, I grabbed a stack of these. I bought four packs of them. They're the little tiny fake command hooks. I'm doing a wall in my room, and I will bring you along, but I needed a bunch of these. This holds 0.2 pounds, but this is perfect for what I'm hanging. So I grabbed nine, and I have used the Dollar Tree brand before. Um, I probably wouldn't hang something heavy or um stop like a family heirloom with them but at christmas time i hung christmas lights on my headboard i the things i'm hanging are super light so i grabbed 
these because the command ones are expensive but i do use the command ones but i like these for just my little project that i'm doing that i have coming up and then i grabbed four two of these little chalkboard um steaks these were my wedding section i am obsessed and i love to entertain around the holidays and i thought how fun to put like the name of the food on it or whatever and you can totally make these yourself this is just a skewer cut down with a little piece of chipboard with some chalk paint. But you could use like black um, cardstock and glue it onto a toothpick and you would get the same concept, you know? But I grabbed two packs uh, for the holidays. I have a tote in my garage. It's all about chargers and chalkboards and whenever I entertain or have folks over, I bring the tote in and I use it for that. So this will go in there. And I entertain fairly, fairly often. Oh, duh. Stop, Alex. Sorry, he's rubbing on the tripod. Um, and so these will come in handy. I picked up two of these. I got the orchard. No, orchid. And I got the coconut. I have this coconut one, if you can see it's not in here, in my little tiny bathroom behind me. And you can't smell a thing made me kind of sad I'll you know I'll try again with the orchid but the coconut I walk in that bathroom and I don't smell anything made me kind of sad but they were just a dollar so thought I would give it a try I don't have a lot of luck with the scented stuff from the Dollar Tree um, the boys needed a new scratcher for upstairs and like I mentioned before I put this on the carpet in front of this corner that Alex is insisting on digging. I don't know what his problem is. This carpet is not two years old. So it's not from another animal making a smell there. I don't know what it is, but he insists on digging. So I have a rug over it. And then I put one of these scratching pads on the little rug and they seem to enjoy it because they tore the other one to shreds. So I got another one. It's just low profile for my hallway upstairs. It's outside my laundry room. Um, I have a large one down here that they use. So yeah. I'm telling you for a dollar, I'll put these all over the house to keep him from scratching things he shouldn't be. So I grabbed that. And then for vacation, I think I showed you on my last haul the treats I started getting. So I grabbed a bag to put them in. I think what I'll do is everybody will get like a gallon zip bag with their name on it and their treat and their snacks and their whatever. And then they'll all go in this one bag. So we're not crowding up the car, but it says sit back and relax. I thought that was super appropriate as we're on our way to the beach. And I love the little stripes. And then I can use this on my way home if I buy anything souvenir-wise or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Or I'll get a different bag. Some, everybody will have a bag of their own in here. But I thought this was ideal for keeping everything together since we're going to be in a car. So I grabbed that. For the treats for everybody, um, my store just put out the coconut and rose oil in the um, hibiscus pink clay in the bath fizzers. And I think, because I see my surgeon tomorrow, I will be released to be able to soak in the tub. And I just want to soak in the tub so bad. Um, for those who have been asking, thank you. I am feeling much better. Um, no, I had arthroscopic, so I just have like four incisions here and one back here um and they did three repairs so right here and they ground off a quarter of an inch from my collarbone um they rerouted my labrum tendon and that's where all this aching is coming from and then they cleaned up my rotator cuff so i'm good hopefully i'll be back to work next week but it just aches when i use it so i'm thinking a hot bath would just feel amazing because a heating pad feels good so why wouldn't a hot bath um, anyway, so I really like these fizzers. Um, I put these in, but then I also put Epsom salts and moisture bath from Aveeno because my skin is super dry and the combination is like my own little cocktail in the tub. So I got the hibiscus. Mm, you can smell it through the plastic and the rose, coconut rose. So I grabbed two of those. I have a small stash left of before, but I love those. I take baths quite frequently. I grabbed a big old bottle of lemon juice. It's summertime. I like lemon, a little bit of lemon in my water. Um, cook with it, bake with it, and I thought this was a good deal. 
it is lemon juice from concentrate it is a 32 ounce bottle you can also clean with it um and it just says shake well before use refrigerate after opening and the only thing that's in it is lemon juice and then some preservatives and it is from Greenbrier. So I grabbed some lemon juice just to have in the house. I love lemonade in the summer too. Um, I grabbed two more of these cutting boards. I've seen a lot of Dollar Tree DIYs with these, but here's my thing. It is not cost effective in my opinion. Is it great that I can get this at the Dollar Tree? Absolutely. And maybe I will use one for a sign, but one is definitely getting used in my kitchen. Um, but the thing is like, I can go to the hardware store and have them cut a piece of wood much less expensive. Now, if this is all you need, then yeah, it's great. But like, if you're going to try to make a bigger sign, I don't know. I just prefer to buy the wood, but I totally get, you know, being able to buy stuff at the Dollar Tree and I might drill some holes in it and make a little sign or something. But for now, it's definitely one of them is going in my kitchen to cut my produce and little things when I need to cut like lemons or strawberries, not meat. You shouldn't use meat on wood, but yeah, but I like it. I got two actually. So I should have three in this house somewhere. Yeah, I am super excited. I found, and I grabbed the last two of these little lemon towels. Now, this is would be considered, they're calling it a flower sack. It's 100% cotton. I would consider a tea towel. Um, so if you have a recipe or you need to like squeeze out the juice from your cauliflower or a cake or something and it says a tea towel, this is what you want. These towels are not, um, they don't lint. They're lint free. But I'm not going to use them. I don't care for them to use them as a towel towel. I'm hanging these on my stove to match my kitchen. So I hang one with the recipe up and one with just the lemons. And I think that's a good deal. And then these go in my little box in the garage, you know, come fall. But I love this for summer. And I'm loving the lemon because, it, like I said, I'm doing my kitchen with some lemon and stuff. So I thought for $2, that's great decor. There's cat fur literally all over everything because somebody was laying in my bag. So I grabbed those. Um, for some future crafting, they had tank tops. Uh, women's cut it just says ladies tank top this gray one is in a large and then the white one i bought also is in an extra large um i'll wash them dry them and then i can iron on and this is a gildan brand this is this one is name brand it's 100 percent pure cotton extra large and it's not opaque <laughs> i mean it is opaque it's not see-through um i could probably just wear this without a tank top under it and then this brand here, it's hard to read the label because the label is super dark as well. But this is, I mean, they're really nice. They need to be laundered, both of them, and then dried. And then I can get my Cricut out and decorate them. I think I'll make something on the white one for uh, this summer, maybe to wear the pool. I don't know. And then the last thing I have is for a project I'm going to do. I'm hoping to get it out ooh, excuse me, this week, uh, but we'll see. But I grabbed two of these ooh, mirrors, and I think these are, they don't say how wide they are, but I'm going to say these are the six-inch size. I mean, they're not huge mirrors, which is perfect for what I'm doing. This is all part of the project that I'm working on for my bedroom. Um, so I grabbed two. And three packages of this raffia. And this is going to be an anthropology urban outfitter dupe of some things I've seen on Pinterest that I really wanted to do but didn't want to spend $50 on. So I grabbed some raffia. Three packages I feel like should do two. But if not, I can run back. My Dollar Tree had a fair amount. But for, my, for the project I'm doing, I need two. And guess what? I have two. Two of those. And I think three bags of this will be good for it but we will see when I get there so that oh sorry that is everything I've purchased so a couple trips at the Dollar Tree um yeah they don't really have a lot of food although somebody left a comment and I'm curious um they found riced cauliflower at their Dollar Tree so now I need to go check mine um I don't typically buy food only because there's not a lot of keto friendly food I mean there are some and I will get like peanuts and things like that but 
Um, lately, I've just been kind of running in and out, grabbing the things I know I needed and the things that I was hunting for, which was my lemons. I've been literally stocking my store for these. And I don't know how many came because they were just, they had just been put up. And there was only two of these. So maybe they just have a variety and there was my store only got a couple of lemons but i grabbed the two lemon for me they had the pineapple strawberry and flamingos i think yeah all right everybody that is all and i will talk to you later have a great one bye